Hi guys, and welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. About to go into the movies right now, but I want to reflect on the live stream today. So we did Connect the Dots Part 63. For a lot of people who watch the channel who understand what the connections are between private equity, leveraged buyouts, and publicly traded companies, this series is everything you want to know about the, I guess, investment world. But whenever you put together what's happening with the retail apocalypse, the collapsing of category killer companies, like I give you the example of Bed Bath & Beyond, like Michaels that had been you know, previously bought out by Apollo, then you see Ankura, Macellum, and Legion Partners jumping in on these companies, Bed Bath & Beyond, Big Lots, and Kohl's. In the past, I've told you Kohl's is going out of business or and or it's going to be sold off to private equity because of the amount of assets they have. Um, but now you see the connection between Big Lots, Kohl's, and what's happened in the past. So I'm going to run it back to you a little bit different because my mind's been moving and I've been doing some more homework. When I look at Kohl's, they previously did a deal with JP Morgan where they sold out $1.5 billion worth of their credit on their credit cards, their, you know, the um, in-house credit card that they have. Now, when they did that deal, that was in 2006. Do you know who was on the board of directors of Kohl's at the time when they did that deal? Thomas Kingsbury. Thomas Kingsbury then left, went to Burlington, was there growing it, expanding it, doing what private equity does, leveraging itself on the assets. But you got to think about who benefited from the fact that Bed Bath Beyond went out of business, right? Macellum and Cura and Legion Partners are all in all these companies. They're the hedge funds that are telling these companies what to do. And they plant their executives on the board. They, they nominate 9 to 14, 9 to 12 individuals, and then some get on the board, and then here's the outcome. And this is why Connect the Dots exist, because the same executives are in every single company, and they do the wrong thing on purpose, right? They sell off their assets to lease them back, then take all of that cash, extend themselves, overextend themselves, pay dividends, do share buybacks, everything you can think of just to ruin the company from within. And as a shareholder, you're going to lose. That's it. So now that we know the game, you actually, you have to ask yourself, like, who's benefiting from this? Well, right now it's Burlington. Burlington is the company, Thomas Kingsbury's previous company, who actually bought up Bed Bath & Beyond buildings at pennies on the dollar. So now that we know Bed Bath & Beyond is completely gone, it's been liquidated, it's never coming back, the same thing's going to happen with Big Lots. The same thing's going to happen to Kohl's eventually. But these companies that you're paying attention to in this apocalypse, right, this retail apocalypse, I, I just tell you that it's, it's plain as day. And if you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I'll explain it. Uh, Thomas Kingsbury, who's the CEO of Kohl's, newly announced, um, he went ahead, he's also on the board of directors at Big Lots. The common denominator between the two, Macellum and Cura and Legion Park nominated him to be the CEO of, both, of, of Kohl's, and he's also on the board of directors at Big Lots. So, and everything he's ever touched, right? Bankruptcy, you guys know it, um, all the way from the back of the beginning of the time when they were at um, Federated Department Stores and Macy's and all that stuff. So, we've known about this since like the 70s. And I talk about it because this is what I study. Well, let's go back to this. I wanted just this little part. I had talked about Dr. Michael Burry, and you guys know he's infamous for shorting the housing market when it was going down in 2008. I think Dr. Michael Burry knows what Connect the Dots is all about. And the fact that he's increasing his position on Big Lots tells me one thing. And, and I think about it backwards, okay? Guys, Big Lots, book value is $10 a share, yet the price is $4 a share meaning their assets are worth more than the value of the stock right now. And those assets are there selling them off and they will sell them off. This is at Big Lots. He's increasing his his buying of shares, which has been announced, because I feel like he's hedging his short position. I think he's already done the due diligence that I already do and you do. The only difference is I say it publicly and I tell you why these guys are making these bets. So I think he's hedging his short position with those shares that he's buying because there's no way they recover. If you don't know the book, you should know the book. These guys are down to $40 million worth of cash. They have zero cash, and if they don't sell their assets, they're going to have to go liquidate their buildings. And if no one wants to buy them right now with them, you know, you're going to see the interest rates sky high. So who's going to lease these back or who's going to do this deal? There's, there's equity in that company. There is. The brand itself but they're going to go gut it out of it. They're going to carve it out of it. And every single private equity firm is just sitting there with bated breath. I mean, they, these guys are vultures. This is vulture capitalism, guys. They're going to pick off this carcass. It's real. Connect the dots, part 63. We explained all of this, but I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, if Dr. Mark Burry is buying shares, it's because he's hedging his short position. At least that's what I would do.
Peace.